G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 18, where I'm back to continue the fists only challenge into the year 2020. This is the first episode that I'm filming in 2020, got a new haircut, got some new specs, new year, new me, I've gone full 100% white girl, but that's okay, I've got the frothies here to make up for it, and today I'm starting this episode a little bit early because there is lots I've got to do and a lot of that involves going on a big long travel quest back out to the new town over here. I've got this little FOB east that I've filled up with some valuable loot that I need to go get but I also have everything under the sun that I had in my sellables chest both on me and on my motorcycle down there so I can go to Trady Potato and sell all of this. I'm sick of having all this stuff here and only less than $2,000 it is on me. I need to make some bank so I need to go sell all this nonsense to old mate and try and get some dollar readers out of it. So that's my goal for today. That is why I'm starting nice and early. I've got lots of traveling to do. No better time to start it than early in the morning so that by the time the sun comes up and it's time to go questing, I'll have the sunshine and the slightly slower zombies to go and get that done with. Even though I left super early, I left at 2.30 and I still haven't made that much progress by the time it's almost dawn. The stars are out. It is the darkest part of night. 20 past 3. Anytime like in the 3s in the morning is when it gets dark. So we're cruising through the desert now. I've still got a long, long way to go. But oh, that's just the price I've got to pay. I'm imagine doing this like 6 in the morning. This would be valuable time I'd be wasting just cruising through on my hog. That is not what we want to be doing in the apocalypse. Every minute counts, especially when there's a horde night not too far away. Actually, you know what? I think I've somehow accidentally tied this to perfection. I'm cruising into town as the sun is rising in front of me. Dawn is just about here. Morning is here. I'm not going to sing the song though because Rachel would get very mad about that. Only Joey likes the morning is here guy. Where's the... Oh, that's the waterworks right there. I have timed that to an absolute T. I couldn't have done that better if I actually sat down and did the math about how long it would take me to get back here. All right, there we go. Leave the bike there. I do have the space on me. Yes, to grab some of the stuff, just the valuable stuff. I probably should have left some of the sellables at home, but whatever. This will be fine. No one has respawned in here. No, we're good. Boy, there's a, there's a lot of, oh, there's a lot more in here than I thought there was going to be. I have done that rather badly. Diamond. I need the diamonds to make my uh, hard, hardened diamond tips. So maybe... Maybe I just need to consolidate as much of this stuff into one chest as I can. In fact, I kind of already have. There's only that much stuff left. I'll quickly hit up Trady Potato, sell what I can. In fact, I can probably... I can sell that. I'm going to go basal parts there. So, uh, scrap the iron knuckles. Scrap the iron sledgehammer. It's not worth that much. And the iron spear. Scrap all of that nonsense because it wasn't that good anyway. Take some more of this. I need to remember not to sell the diamond. I need the diamond. Must not sell diamond. There we go. Got the space for all the things I actually end up leaving just like the minor stuff behind. Leaving a nail gun here because that might come in handy later on down the track. And some of the lesser things I don't need right now can stay. But I'm taking the rest of this nonsense with me. Got a whole I'm so, so full to the brim. It's not even funny. All right. But now we've got all that done now. We came and got, more importantly, our steel armor parts. We have that, so we're okay. Now I see to go find the closest tradey potato. I could go hit up the big gas, but I've already looted out for the moment. I think that's the closest just trade potato just there. I mean, he doesn't open for another couple of hours because he is a slack ass piece of shit. He takes his time to go up in the morning. He wants to wear his fuzzy slippers while he cruises around the backyard and pisses on his lemon tree. He takes his time before he opens up his shop. So I'll head out there. I'll wait for him to decide he wants to open his doors. I'll sell everything I possibly can to him. And then I might go on a cheeky little bit of a raid in the new town before I head back home. I'm not quite sure what, I, what the best plan of action here is going to be. I am aware that there's only a couple of days before the next horde and I haven't done any upgrades to my base. It stood up well to the day 28 hole, but day 35 is going to get a whole lot worse, and I haven't done anything about it, because I'm so, like, I'm talking about the trade a bit lazy when it comes to opening a store, I'm lazy about updating my, uh, my horde base, I'm also lazy about refueling my bike, that was a little bit silly, uh, let's trade you for you just for the moment, I promise I'll get the gas back in a second, just real quick, need to refuel my bike again. Well, here I am, ready to go. It's only half past five. I've got a full another 40 minutes before old mate decides he wants to open the door. So I may as well spend my time just going and quickly murdering a bunch of mops. How you doing, mate? Good to see you. Thanks for joining me out here in the queue. It's like the Apple Store of the apocalypse, but it's Trady Joe's. Not much else. Not much else going around. There's another mop down there. There's no bears though, which is good. Do I have any? Do I have any skill points to spend? I do not. I'm not close to getting another one. What's the next one I want to get? I'm level five on Lucky Looter, and I have the Lucky Goggles for when I go looting. 
Maybe strength is the way to go? I'm, I'm not sure. It's like, sex T-Rex would be a pretty good one for me to have. Uh, what is it? Be, blah, 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 blah. Relentless uh, assault of blows guaranteed to leave your place slack-jawed and uh, from your unyielding stamina. That would be a good one for me to have because I can throw fists. I can throw hands far more efficiently than I can now. But I don't know. You know, skill points are valuable in this day and age. I don't want to waste my next point. Oh, that is Trader Joe being open. Save that waypoint there. I was just marking all the tradies on my map. So they all have their own little waypoints. Just make it easier for me to find them when I need them. All right. What up, Mup? Please buy all of this nonsense from me. In fact, do you even have general more jobs for me? No, I still haven't done your last job. May I see your inventory? All right. All of what, what do I need to sell, actually? What, what should I keep on me for when the time comes? Probably the oil. So I'll sell the bullets. I'll keep the diamond and I'll keep the steel armor parts. But I think the rest of this can get sold. Do you have a repair kit, though? No, you don't. You restock on day 34 you and it's day 32. Time. All right. So you just restock yesterday. I remember that now. There's lots going on here, but you don't really have a lot that I need. Do have a get an elixir though. I could get some skill points out of that because I could unspec into all the nonsense I currently have. Look at this. On the first stack, I'm going to get like a full stack of 20 grand. That's pretty good by me. All these guns and all these things have fully stacked on mods, which is kind of nice. M6 machine gun, we're 1,200. And last but not least, a $2,000 iron helmet. to sell you as well. I think you had one more one more mod slot in there, but I don't particularly care. Look at that. $21,000. We got a full stack of 20k out of that. I've got more to go. This is why I shouldn't worry about holding on to things for a rainy day. If I got it, I should sell it and just worry a little bit less. Take you you guys take you guys back out uh leave the coffee and the iron and the the bigger stack i suppose of money take you guys all right let's go sell all of this make sure in fact before i go back in let's put the valuable stuff back into the bicycle stuff so just in case i get silly and i go sell crazy all the things i don't want to sell go into there oh there's my lucky goggles all right i'll sell those ones instead i thought uh for a second i'd, I'd uh, I put them somewhere else turns out i had two i can sell both of you sell all of this too all right trady here we go in fact you i hope your coffers are because I'm about to empty them. All right, I'm going to call that a very There's successful day. Family. From $1,000 to $30,000. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good old wicket. Ooh. And a wandering horde cruising pass as well. All right, well, what glasses do I currently have on? I'm pretty sure I've got, yeah, I've got my XP goggles. All right, well, I'm going to turn around the opportunity to get myself some extra experience. Oh, that gets cut. <laughs> I was trying to get your attention. That wasn't really my intention to start with. Just wanted your attention. That was my intention. We're getting all sorts of words getting mixed up right now. You, I do. I was reading the comments for the episode a long time ago now because I'm recording so far ahead these days. Um, that I use power strokes far too much when I'm fighting big groups of zombies. And I completely agree. I should be relying on my normal lefty jab rather than my big right haymaker far more often. Because look at that. If we're just a normal shot, we're still exploding watermelons all over the gap. We don't even need that power stroke. We can murder zombies left, right, and center without expending any more effort than absolutely necessary. And they reward us with some loot for our good effort too. All right, that works for me. A couple more mups out here. Man, I, I love punching zombies to death. When I started this challenge, I was nervous about it, thinking it was going to be really difficult. But when you spec into shit, turns out it makes it a whole lot more fun. What have you got for me? A skull cap. You've, oh, I've got some more ammo there as well. Well, I'll take the die out of you because I feel like I'm running low on die for some things. I've got... Oh. Oh, the game didn't want me to have dye, and it just crashed out hard. But yeah, I've got a lot of dye. We're a lot of purple dye, but I feel like I need some more colors. I need to add some uh, variation into my outfit and my tools. Can't just have purple everything. Too, like, even though like the background here, too much purple. Sometimes you need to just like have a bit of contrast. I've come back in, and it's put me back before I even looted the loot. Which gave me the same thing, though, but it took the dye away from me. Ah, you son of a bitch. I wanted that time, for God's sake. I can't wait to update this game. So I'm still running in 18.2. I know there's like an 18.3 right now where they fixed Trady Potato Jen's voice, which is very good for her. Congratulations, Jen, on getting your voice box changed over to one that more suits your character model. I don't know, maybe just got a super deep voice. You know, I'm, I'm not going to judge you on that one. But I can't update the game because if I update the game, I'm worried that it's going to just like, um, we're going to corrupt like this game save file. So I'm going to like lose the fist. Only challenge, I can I lose the Wordle Park 2 or even a break it more. That's kind of okay because that's just kind of the charm of having Jerusalem Park. It lives through all of the versions and gets more and more broken as we go until eventually it just doesn't work at all anymore. But the game is struggling at 18.2 and I can't do any of the fixing patches yet because it's just going to break the game even more and I can't lose it again. I can't just keep losing playthroughs every time there's an update. So I'm going to stick with this one for now and eventually when this one ends, thankfully I'll be able to update to whatever stable version they have then and we can all celebrate and play the game for more than 20 minutes without a hard crash.
While I'm on the way back, I'm actually really going to move for a buried treasure quest. Now that I'm on the lookout for diamonds to make my uh, my reinforced diamond tips, whatever they're called, the, the diamond tip blades, I can put on my knucks, which would be a wonderful addition for my knuckles. And that and like the weighted head mod, I think is going to be the best combo. But I have no buried treasure quests right now. What, what do I have that's kind of nearby? What quest can I pump out nice and quick and get the job done without too much worry? What have we got? Got that one out all the way out there. Uh, no, oh, yeah, I've got one back in the old tower, which is from that tradey. I don't know. There's nothing that's really jumping out at me as a good option. Or maybe just that one. All right. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go to the northern town. Let's go to that quest. Quickly punch it out. Literally, actually. And then go back to the trainer and hopefully get myself a buried treasure one. It's only, oh, geez, it's only 9 o'clock in the morning. I've already done so much today. And the sun's barely gotten over the mountains on the horizon. We can go to that. Get a quest we actually like. And hopefully find some more diamonds. Get myself some better mods. So that my fists become even more potent than they already are. There's also a barn here with a secret stash silo. Which I don't think I've raided before. So I might have hit that one on the way back as well. Because why not? That was a very long way away from the POI for it to make that noise. No, okay, there wasn't something closer. That's fine with me. Uh, was the point around the back? I've raided this place before. I think it was around the back. I don't really remember it anymore. It was a very quick raid. I know that much. Right, you stay there. I've got nothing. I've got a lot of actual extra stuff on me. I can scrap you again. I can keep the bullets on me for now. It doesn't really matter. So I know I could have gone another raid, but I've already raided this place. So let's just do it again. All right, here we go. Clear areas and final supplies. Let's not leave without killing all the zombies this time. Let's not fail the quest just because we forget which one we're actually doing. Finish off our lane. There we go. Everyone else in this room? No, we're good. Oh, a working workbench. That's kind of fun, but I don't need it. Go on at home. Cheers, knackers. Oh, no. Oh, come on, mouse wheel. Stop. So it kind of gets stuck in between two different options on my, my, my scroll wheel now. So occasionally it just decides, you know what? I feel like you just scrolled a little bit and it will change my weapon. That's really going to cost me big time if that happens to happen right as I try and punch a zombie in the face because suddenly I'll hit it with an axe or something and then everyone will get mad at me. Can we search that purse? We've got there. Steroids and shotgun shells. Interesting combination for someone to be carrying around in their purse just in case they need a quick jab or a quick gunfight. Oh, come on. Come on, game. Stay with me. I know it's hard. I know you're struggling, but you're running on like a top of the line computer these days. You probably shouldn't have any issues running goddamn seven days to die. Oh, that's a, that's a feral Arlene, too. If the frame rate wouldn't drop every three seconds, I'd kill you easier. Oh, you got shot at me, too. All right, that was weird. You died well after. That was the bleeding effect taking effect, I think. Yeah, do have the bleeding on there. Whew. All right, let's keep on going. Ferals still make me nervous, even after all this time. I still don't like fighting him. I just realized I do have the weighted head mod in my shovel, so I might even just swap that around. Is the fortifying grip off there? Uh, can I put the weighted head mod on if I still have the serrated blade? I'm not sure. Take you, complete that, and put you back into... No, come on, there you go. There you go. Good job, game. Nope, can't put it in. All right, let's go like that and like that. Yep, that seems to be a good combination. So then in here, I'll go modify and bang you into there. All right, that does also mean I'm pretty sure the diamond tip mods is going to replace the weighted head, but that's okay. I'll deal with that when I come to it. I still kind of want it because it's extra durability. There's some cabinets I forgot to search. Nope, nothing good in there, but I'll take it anyway. So hopefully with the weighted head mod, I mean, sure, I uh, was, wasn't replaced. This right? It doesn't get the bleeding effect anymore, but I should get some extra knockdown damage just for good measure. Yep, there we go. She's down already. Ow! Paul, where did you come from? I How the hell did you get around here? I cleared the room, made sure there was no big bubbles like you hiding in any corners, and you still snuck up on me out of nowhere. I have no idea where you just came from, but you made me clench my butthole just a little bit more than I'm comfortable with. I feel very uncomfortable now. Let's keep on searching here. Didn't don't leave anything behind. It's all just a bunch of tin cans and water. Don't need that. Coffee beans? I can't make it into coffee right now. I have to take it home with me. Keep on going. Though. Keep on going. Find all the Muppets in the building. Kill them all. And then we're just going to find old mate's package you left behind somewhere. And we've got some military zombies. Of course we do. Well, I don't care if your head looks like a dick. I'll still happily punch it right in the middle of your eye. Oh, shit. It says I teleported to the ceiling. All right, there we go. They're both dead. And I got a level up, but I don't know what I want to spend that point into just yet. No, actually, yes, I do. What am I talking about? I talked about this before. Where was it? Was in strength, I think. Sexy T-Rex. Grab that one. I am no... No, I just upgraded myself to a couch potato. I What's what's my next level? What's the next level I'm going for? Strength, Sexy T-Rex, bench warmer. I'm looking forward to warming that pine at some point and swinging my fists around in celebration. I can hear a zombie having a good old wail on. I think a door downstairs. I think it's just a random wanderer zombie is coming to try and break in. Uh, Pelican, I need to murder you. So if you can swoop me like the magpie you are, thank you. Oh, <laughs> I like how the game takes a moment to think about it sometimes. When it lines up the shot, it's like, oh, you did actually hit that bastard. All right, well, I guess I'll calculate how much damage you actually did. It takes a moment just to figure out exactly what you're trying to do. Search all of this. No, nothing, nothing good here. Nothing good at all. Wasting my time. The Muppet's breaking his way downstairs. 
Where the hell is this stupid satchel? Is there any more zombies I have to kill? Or does there want to be any more vultures? Because I hate having to try... Oh, that was the wrong button. Hate having to try and kill them when they're flapping about in the sky. Oh, I see. I see. How are you doing, love? Oh, miss, miss getting that sweet and like, hitting you out in the middle of the bat. Keep coming up out of the back of me. Stop it. He's coming out in front of me. He's stuck in me. He's stuck between my legs. I can't get rid of him. All right. Got the satchel. That's one of the things I needed to do. Let's just find the last of these mops and get out of dodge. Oh, I remember this room. This was a big fight last time. Doesn't look like any of these guys are ferals though, so I might be okay if I just take my time and get through it. In fact, I don't have to take my time and kill them. Hand over fist, kill you. Oh, you got a bit angry there though. You need to settle down. I think I like clipped him with my pinky finger as I was coming through. Maybe just gouged his eye a little bit with my corkscrew fists. That's right, they're all dead now. No more icons on my map. Yep, I need to return to the trader. Quest is done, but not before I grab the last of this loot. Please give me my loot and goggles on. Yes, I do. Please give me some diamonds. A tier 6 iron reinforced club. That would be a godsend any other time except now. Can't use it anyway, but I'll take you to load up with mods and sell them old mate potato. Some more steel armor parts as well. That's pretty good. I'll happily take that one. All right, let's... Oh, there's another one here. I missed the whole working sis crate. Do you have some more steel armor parts for me? Nope, just nothing. All right, never mind. Then. Let's uh, let's find a way, our uh, best way out of here. I guess it'll be this way. I don't really care how I get out. There's a Muppet downstairs I want to avoid getting into a fight with right now. Ah, oh, this looks like about the right place. I've got one of my bikes, so I was around the other side. Let's go grab that. We'll go hit the barn over there, get the loot out of there, and then we can go home and cash in our rewards. Leaving my bike full of all of my gubbins. Let's go in the back way. I'm sick. Oh, wait. Have I been here before? Someone's been beating down the doors. I, I don't know. I guess maybe I have been here before. Let's take a quick little peek inside here. Normally, I would go up the long way, but I just need to check to see if I've already taken the loot, which I have. All right, never mind then. I was expecting a nice little uh, nice little looting trip just to finish off the day. Turns out that was a solid yeah, nah. Oh, but there is a waterworks. I don't think I've been through that. Well, if I can't loot the barn, I guess I'll just take all the loot out of the bottom of the waterworks. It's a nice, easy little raid. I've done a million times before. May as well do... I've already done this one too. God, I'm a, a, a looting aficionado. I'm looting so much more than I thought I have. I thought there was still plenty of loot to be found, but it turns out I've already taken it all. Maybe I'll just do this one instead. It's the Shotgun Messiah Triple P.O.Y., which I think from memory, I think the entryway for this is like at the back corner. I mean, look, I know I'm like cheating the system. You know, I'm using my knowledge of these P.O.Y.s from before to break away. Yep, there it is up there. Okay, well, I was going to go that way because I feel like I got cheated out of my loot by previous Josh. If he's going to be a dick like that and take all the fun loot, then I'm going to be a dick to the game and take all the loot again, which means I'm definitely going to forget I've done this before as well and come back here another day and get all disappointed that I can't take more loot again. Uh, just to there and up and in. There we go. Look at that. Straight into the loot room. Where are my looting goggles? Yes, I am. All right, let's bust open all these bad boys. Take what we can. Well, this is a whole like shotgun size store. There might actually be some decent stuff down in the lower levels as well. So maybe it's worth me looting this and then going down through this one particular building and seeing what else is down here. All right, everything is open. Your locked chest, though. Someone just woke up. That's right. I'll just take my time picking this lock. You can destroy whatever you like downstairs. Unlocked it on the first try. What have you got for me? Got some gold and silver nugs, hunting rifles, military helmets. It's actually a pretty good box. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought I was not expecting that to be you. I thought you were downstairs somewhere. Yeah, I've got the answer out on my knuckles. That's uh, that's a real problem. Can I take off your legs, please? I very much like to use you to be a crawler because at this point, I've invested enough into you. Oh, I can hear things breaking. I don't want you to fall off the side and we lose all that delicious XP. In fact, you know, oh, yeah, let's go like this. I like that you're kind of stuck up there. Can I please just kill you? You're really doing a number in this room. The feds are going to come in and do a number on me. Oh, oh, he glitched inside. I knocked him down. He glitched inside, but now he is dead. Oh, there's another rat over there. Okay, I'm in some serious trouble. All right, let's quickly do the rest of the looting. No, I've got wearing the wrong goggles. Swap that over. Take all of you. Where are you? Seal armor. I could get the seal uh, armor parts out of that. Not the worst thing in the world. Stun button. Another battle button. Arm reinforced club. Now, do I want to go fight all the rads? I have the anti-rad, but rads are, rads are a big deal. And I definitely kind of don't want to do that, but I want all the loot. I'm desperate for loot. I'm hungry for loot. Just stay close to the wall so you don't fall down. All right, how am I going to deal with you? You're causing some issues, and I don't know what to do about you. You're going to come over here? Yep, there we go. There you go. Knock it. All right, well, I guess I'll see you in a little bit then. If you want to go down there, I'll wait up here for you to get back up here, all right? You find a way up here, and I'll set, set out the tea set for you. All right, I think I'm just going to have to be brave about it. Let's chug a quick frothy. Let's get ourselves a little bit rowdy and get down there and start the punch on. I don't know where they're all going to be now. They've all kind of wandered off into their own areas, wherever they might be. Oh, yep, there's another rat there. That's oh, oh god, I went the power stroke. It was risky, risky business, but I had to do it. Come on, come on, weighted knuckles. This is what I needed you for. This is your moment to shine. I'm getting fucked up by a radiator Jeffrey. You're not doing 
anything for me, get off his head, you clown. For goodness, I hate that. I'm standing over the top of him to try and like actually hit him in the face. And instead, it just puts me up into the ceiling again. Could use him as a step if I wanted to, but that's not the way I was planning on doing it. There's another rad coming. All right, stand over here and a feral. All right, this is a whole thing. I'm going to have to go through most of my profits to get this done. I'm not looking forward to it. Oh, God. Oh, yes. Okay. See, that's where the weather was coming handy. It's okay, buddy. You want to go be a ballerina in the sky? You do that. I won't judge you at all. Oh, okay. Are we good? Are we fine? I'm wearing the wrong goggles. That's all right, though. I'm not doing all the looting just yet. Oh, yeah, maybe I am. There's an ammo pile stashed in this heat event. Oh, uh, grab that. Another mod, uh, anti-rad remover. What, where can I put you? Anywhere important can go. I don't really care anymore. I'm just stacking up the mods and whatever will hold them, trying to free up the inventory space. I'm starting to get a bit nervous, you know. Now I know this place is full of radiators. I'm not feeling as confident as I once was. I've kind of just got to be brave, yeah? I mean, look, I am not a brave boy. We all know this. I am 100% genuine friend. Brady cat and I'm not looking forward to going in here at all but I've been alive so long in the fist only challenge that I feel like I need to just kind of nut up or shut up at this point all right there's another feral oh, oh this didn't quite knock him down that's all I really hope for in this if I guess I'm alone I want to knock him down and hopefully do a number on him before his friends show up for reinforcements another feral coming that way I got one up over here that's all right if I can I can I just get, get a cheeky slot oh yes I can you can hit those boxes all day long and I'll just sit back here and wail on your schnoz until you give up hopefully to stay down Yep, there we go. All right, we're good. We are good. I can hear someone else beating on walls. Hopefully, it's not the red. Although, I started at the hardest part of this whole POI. So, hopefully, all the reds are behind me. Huh. Well, uh, this is awkward. I came down the elevator shaft. This Muppet's just hanging out here. Well, I'm going to put one right up your booty. Uh, uh. Oh, didn't care, though. <laughs> I put a corkscrew up his clacker, and he gave no shits about it at all. All right, well, let's keep on going through then. If you're gonna, if you're gonna just put up with that one, then I guess I can't really complain. Uh, anyone else hanging out around here? Doesn't really look like it. This is still the um the shotgun missile red tea. I'll drink that one. Thank you very much. I like the red tea because it gives you um digestion buffs and so stops you being such a hungry muppet all the time. Anything hard behind here? Sounds like it. Looks like it. What have you got for me? Some more water, some more glass. Damn it. Where's where's all the good stuff? There's nothing. There's a firing range down here. Gun range. There we go. This should be where all the good stuff comes from. Oh, oh, wow. You were right there. I came running through that door expecting it to be a little bit further down. But no, you were right on the door frame. You were coming over the threshold and I was not prepared for that. I think he was the last Muppet in here, though. I didn't check what's out here, though. Got some nice shells and some lighting. No, nothing else here. Is a gun safe, though, which I have the lockpicks for. Now, I feel like wearing... I've thought about this before. I feel like wearing the lucky goggles gives you a better chance of picking the locks on the safe. So I haven't seen any stats that confirm that, but in my experience, in my uh, or in my endeavors and my adventures, I've broken a lockpick, apparently. I didn't hear it. I just got told it. Uh, I feel like it definitely happens easier when I'm wearing my, lock, my lucky goggles than it is when I'm wearing my XP goggles. So look at that. Second second try, and I got it done. What have we got? We got another mod, some more money, another mod again. Alright, that's fine with me. Gun safes are good for loot. What else is in here? Anything else for me? Please keep loading me up with goodness. I think this is the last map, but I think I've licked every pop school that you have to lick in this pop school stand. Let's quickly check the weapons bag, though. Still wearing the right glasses. Gotta check that every now and again, just in case I've been a mop and changed over me goggles. No, nope, nothing there. I came up out of that hole. So I'm just searching the last room that is in this whole complex. Another frothy. Happy with that one. Everything's worth it when you find a nice cold frothy. You can't complain about that at all. Even me, who complains about a lot of things, I'm not going to complain about that even a little bit. All right, and then we go back into the other side. Yeah, okay, we don't need to go through there. We don't need to go through, like, the warehouse and all that kind of nonsense. Let's just get out the front door. Let's let's get out of here. Let's go back to the trade. I turn in this quest. It's half past five. The day's almost over. It's time for me to move on. Uh, it's the trader all the way to the east that gave me that quest. It's this guy over here, not my tradey boy down here. Damn it. Well, what quest did you give me then if it wasn't that one? I thought I would have been... Was, oh, that's the cheerleader one. Where where have you sent me? I guess you sent me over this way. It's probably... Oh, I think it's that one there. I think it's that tier 5 apartment quest that I found and immediately noped out of. I don't want to have to do that one. That one sucks. Well, I'll still go see Trade Potato anyway and sell some more gubbins to him. See if he's got anything to sell me. Then we can head home because i got a fair bit of uh, steel armor parts. So I can probably actually make myself some decent armor. The only part of my armor I think I've got left that isn't steel is my chest. And I've got uh, tier 3 steel gloves. Like, do I replace my steel gloves or do I replace my... I mean, I've got more mod slots in there. Maybe I should replace my gloves, get an extra mod slot, and bring it up to being... Well, it's still going to be steel. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to compare the stats and see what's going to be the best option. I can only think I've only got enough parts to make one. So I'm going to have to choose wisely. 
Let's make this nice, quick, and snappy. What have you got for me? You take this. It, buy you all of this governs off me, please. Whatever. I'm selling everything. I know I could repair this stuff, get more money. I don't care. I held on to things for so long that at this point, I just need to go sell stuff. It's no point me if I was level one. I was, uh, I'll scrap the level oh, one stuff. I can't be bothered dealing with that kind of nonsense right now. Nothing else needs to be scrapped. No. Nope. I mean, that's all I bought. Well, I didn't buy anything. I suppose it was a justified uh, complaint from you then. Get rid of you, get rid of you. All of this is going. I ain't stashing shit anymore. Everything I get is getting sold. I want those dollar redos. Nothing especially fun here either, but it does have four repair kits, so I'll buy those ones because you never know when that might come in handy down the road somewhere. Quick have a little gander through the rest of his stuff here. Spotlight. If the spot, I mean, the, the lanterns are better at light emitting than the spotlight, which makes no sense. I'm not going to bother with that one. Anything else in here? No, no, no. Nothing but secretly. There is some concrete mix. I could, I mean, I could just buy all of that. Wasn't it? Three grand for 750. Sure, why not? We're going to need it at some point. Let's just buy it. Let's just do it. Let's just sacrifice some money for some extra goodness down the road and everything else there is kind of cooked all right never mind then let's get out of here thank you for your services thank you for giving me all those dollar redos let's head back to our base ah uh, there's lots to do at the base still i still haven't fixed up my entertaining area i opened up the window but that's all i kind of did I, my construction project got halted by me having to go and find all those steel armor parts back at the the eastern fob but now that i'm coming home again maybe i can spend tonight kind of preparing for that and then tomorrow just doing some much needed base renovations i mean look I, a lot of the time i spend out and about out in the town uh exploring and raiding and murdering and doing all the things that is fun in seven days sometimes you're gonna spend a little bit of a moment just making sure you're coming home to a nice fan house. You know, you go out there and shed your blood, sweat, and tears. You want to come home, kick up your feet, and enjoy the area you're living in. So, first things first, what do I need for the diamond blade tip mod? I need a, a lot more diamonds. Two more diamonds. I can probably manage that at some point. Let's just leave you guys in there so I don't accidentally sell you at some point. What about steel? Steel. What do I need? St the steel uh, gloves, which are here. What do you need? You only need 12 and I have 17. So I can make, yeah, I can only make one piece of steel armor. And it's either going to be that or it's going to be the chest armor. What, are you going to tell me what kind of stats you're going to give me? Are you going to give me any information on how good it's going to be? You're just going to tell me just to suck it up and hope for the best. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like the gloves are the better option. Yeah, I mean, like, if I'm... That's my, my lowest tier piece of armor. I know the other one's iron, but I feel like I still got the mod slots to make it decent, whereas the gloves just don't have enough mod slots, and I feel like if I get a better option of those ones, I should probably take it. Let's put the cement mix back into there, and the glass, and all this other stuff as well. Let's just get everything that I don't need on me right now into that box, and let's go find ourselves some forged steel. I forgot I had a whole stack of steel armor parts. I was going through and sorting out all my inventory, and there was a whole other, what, like six of them chilling out in this box over here? That's pretty good for me. Oh, that's got some black dye. I've been looking for some black dye because black and purple is my color scheme. At the moment, I'm just rolling nothing but purple. So I'll take you and I'll go in here. Uh, let's make my shirt black. So let's get like purple on the outside and black on the inside. Go like this, go like that and put you on there. I know I know, I can modify stuff directly from here. I know that's a thing you can do now, but that's a recent addition and I'm not used to doing it. I'm still in the habit of taking things off to modify things and then doing it later on. In fact, I kind of like... I might have made the gloves black as well down the track. Just kind of get a little bit more, a little bit more uh, contrast going through here than I currently have. Let's bang that die back in there. What else do I need for this? I need leather and duct tape. Leather. And where's all my duct tape gone? Do I need to go back myself some duct tape? I have plenty of glue. I know I made a whole stack of it last time. I just don't remember where all the duct tape is. Whatever. I need six duct tapes. So let's just go like this. Let's just make, let's make like, uh, let's make 36 just for now. I can leave a stack of 30 in there for later use. I'm going to need it eventually one way or the other. I need some sewing kits. I'll take those. What else do I need in here? Uh, steel chest armor. That can do for me just fine for now. I'm missing... Some more forged steel. Okay, that's fine. I have everything else I need, though. So let's go out here. Let's get some of the forge cranking away. Get myself some forged steel. And get our next piece of armor on the craft while we're waiting uh, uh, overnight. You know, I can come back tomorrow and I'll be good to go. I'm a little bit low on the resources, so I'll bank in some iron onto there. Get you turned on and craft all of that. I mean, I don't have to worry about screamers, so I can just leave this rocket and rolling all night long. Uh, and if the screamers show up, then I'll deal with them when they do. But they just got to cruise around on the outside of the walls anyway and never actually call in any friends. I can fill up my clay, which is already pretty full anyway, actually. Just burn all of that iron in and get that rocking and or rolling. What do I need? I need 13 steels and then I'll have everything that I need. All right, that's fine with me. Let's go sort out the rest of my inventory while we wait for that. We can get that crafted before we wrap it up. While I'm waiting for that, what do I actually need out here? I, I need to fix up the railings because all of these are kind of bogus. Oh, you're made out of iron though. 
I was expecting you to be made out of wood, but turns out iron. That's all right, though. At least now I know that. So there's some iron railings. I probably just get, like, make it out of wood. Oops. And then, um, you know, just paint it to look like iron, which might be the cheaper way to do it. You don't need iron railings. It's sunning his balls out here. And iron railings get searingly hot. No one knows a branding iron like a seatbelt the hot day. And I feel like having iron railings will do just the same thing to your poor little mitts. Uh, that should be all I need. Yeah, I still need to figure out what to do with this. A part of it was to just replace it with normal blocks, but I like the idea of having a window here. I did bring back some glass specifically, but if I upgrade these, then it just turns into a wood slab, and I don't want that. Uh, can I make, like, what can I make in the way of window? We win, well, no, wando, window, wood, window. That's not what I need. However, that would kind of do the job. What about, or just, like, search glass? Glass block, will that give me what I need? I don't even know. What do I need to fix these? Doesn't matter now, though. Steel gloves, craft those. That'll be done in two and a half minutes. That will be fine for me. Uh, I, I have the white room supplies on me now, but I have to go so far away to cash those in. I can't really be asked. I might just wait for another day to do that. But the bad thing is that I can't drop them off. I can't have, like, I don't know why that's a thing. Why can't I just, like, have, like, a box I can put quest items in so I can free up my inventory? I don't have to cash it in right now. Why are you making me carry it around forever and a day? Uh, I'm going to need some railings, though. How do I make some railings? Uh, it's probably going to be this one. Iron and clay in the forge. Gotcha. Uh... Nah, I mean, let, let's, let's just do it on the cheap. Why not? Let's just do it out of wood. Go and grab my sacks of wood out of my boxes and fill up those railings. Make it nice and safe. Don't want any zombie kitties falling off our balcony and then suing us because they broke their decomposing elbows. There we go. Wood railing. Grab that one. Where do I need it? Just over here? No, that's not going to line up. I think it has to attach on the outside of the block like that. Yes, it does. All right, good. All the way along there. Nice and easy. I still need two more, though. Two of those. All right, we're looking good. Renovations have started. Maybe in the middle of the night, but that doesn't mean we can't do any construction projects. I doubt the neighbors are going to make a noise complaint. Rather annoyingly, I have to paint every side of this thing manually. I missed the, the, the developer paintbrush where you can paint all sides nice and easy. Got to do this the hard yakka way, which I I'm not a fan of. I missed any of the railings. Yes, I did miss that one there. There we go. Get all that painted up nice and evenly. I mean, look, it's still less effort than it would have been to go and craft all these out of iron and like less expensive as well. It's just annoying. I, I've been painting the bloody railing. Why would you only paint the middle bits a different color to the railings on the outside? I guess I could use that for other things. I'd make the middle purple and some black uh, borders for it. But uh, right now, I just want to paint the whole thing. Give me the paint all option on the regular paintbrush. Why have you got that locked away behind the dev brush? Doesn't matter. Put the paintbrush away and my paint. Give my myself a pickaxe back and load up all of this extra stuff that I'm carrying for no reason into their respective boxes. That's a, that's a pretty successful day, I think. I've got 11 pieces of steel armor parts remaining, which to make myself some more steel armor, what do I need? I need 12. So I need, I need one more piece of steel armor and I can fully upgrade all of my armor into steel. I'm so close. I mean, sure, I've got plenty of forge uh, steel going in the, for uh, the forge out here. I almost said furnace. I guess it's kind of the same thing. Got all this cracking along out here nicely. Let's make a whole bunch of those again. I don't know. I don't know. Once I do that, what's the next step? I mean, I suppose I do all that and I fight off the horde. At that point, am I just indestructible? Like a fully outfitted steel armored knight with steel knuckles. What could possibly bring me down other than my own stupidity? That's always the biggest threat to myself. But there you go, guys. I'm going to have to leave this episode here. I'm going to try and figure out what blocks go into, like, remake these windows. I want to have them there again. I don't care if it's a door or whatnot. I just want those windows to bring in some natural light. So I'll try and figure out what goes into there. By the way, if you're going to tell me in a comment, I don't have to worry about it because I'm not going to see it before I film the next episode anyway. So thank you, but I'll have to figure it out myself because at the moment I'm so far ahead that I just can't get help from anywhere else in a timely manner. So I'm sorry, but also thank you very much. But I'll have to come back figure out my windows, and continue the fist only challenge in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If y'all like to make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.